this morning, I woke up feeling almost defeated after watching the circus that continues to go on in the Sebastian Rogers case. Some are losing sight of what's really important. The fact that a 15 year old boy on the autism spectrum is missing. He is a vulnerable missing person and the lack of updates from law enforcement is infuriating. Uh, it seems like this case is heading in the same direction as the Summer Wells case. Seth has been on panels talking and we recently heard that he had obtained an attorney to get the CBS records in regards to Sebastian. He has it in his hands now, but despite all the hype that he would share what's in those papers, he didn't share any of it. I agree. There's some stuff that just needs to be kept private and not add to the drama online. Uh, in another turn of events, it seems that Seth has fired yet another one of his private investigators. Chloe, she has been dedicated to finding Sebastian and has even said that she's not giving up. She will work independently to find him. Uh, she put out a statement saying that she has been involved in the Sebastian Rogers case since early March. She needs to announce that she has been asked to step down. The decision was made after hard conversations and in congruence with boundaries she's personally held in regard to which direction she believes her investigation should go. Seth and her have chosen different paths, but their goal stays the same. Um, she says that she is open to questions, but she's sure there will be some that she's unable to answer. This is very interesting, uh, as I don't understand the stepping down of some private investigators while this one has been asked to step down. What is really going on in the Sebastian Rogers case? Many are speculating that anyone who wants to question the Proudfoots are being given the boot. I mean, we know that searchers have been threatened. We don't know by who, but I'm sure many of you have an idea. Um, we also heard how Chris uh, Proudfoot spoke to Chloe on Web Sleuths about two weeks ago. Here, um, I'm going to change the banner really quickly so everybody knows it's you. <laughs> but I don't know how long you've been listening. Long enough. Okay. You sound angry. Talk to me. Oh, what? Very. Talk to me. We don't want to get you angry. The last thing we want to do, Chris, is cause problems between you and Seth. I swear to God. Well, so I talk understand that, but let me help you with something. Okay. Okay, a lot of the information that I've been listening to on your show, coming from Chloe, the questions that are coming through people, it's very sickening and disgusting, to be personally honest with you. Okay, let's let's talk about so, it. So let me go ahead and address a few things to help y'all out. Okay. Because Chloe, you're the PI. I haven't had a chance to talk to you. You haven't even called me. You ain't done anything, first off. Heather has Heather been is the only one. Heather is the only one who has reached out to me or to my wife. I so actually reached out to show, you um, months or so ago. And that you have, that you don't have all the answers to, is a problem. 